flow through yes. us. Yes. We could be up on our feet. All you yes. got to do is start praising Him. Yes. And He said, The Spirit will come down. He'll meet you where you're at. He don't stop. No, 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 no,
against you. Let's pray. Glory to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you. We praise you for your many blessings. God, I thank you, Father God, for another opportunity to come into your house to worship you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, I ask you not to ignore our lips of clay. God, let us get out of the way. God, Father, because this is the day that the Lord has made. We should be glad and rejoice in you. Father, I love you and I praise you and I thank you for everything that you've done, Lord, and I thank you, God, for what you're going to do. Holy Ghost, walk up and down the avenues of this Oh, yes. Today, God, touch those that are sick, touch those that need to touch today, God. Lord, I ask you let the Holy Ghost go out across the airway, God, that your power of you, Lord, that God will breathe right out upon this world, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Right, I started with two. We'll put down one. <laughs> I read those two verses, uh -huh. but actually, we got to go back a few verses to get the concept into what's happening here. There's a story taking place here uh -huh. in this passage of Scripture. Yes. If you go back to verse number, let's go back to verse number 13. Okay. It says, when Jesus came to the coast of Sicily, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men uh -huh. say that I, the Son of Man, am? Come on. I want to ask you that this morning. He is my Lord. Who do you say he is in your life? Because that determines what happens in your life. Because, listen to me, these, the, the disciples are all gathered together here, and he asked them, and I bet you if he asked them a water, they would say, well, you're this, and you're this, and you're this, and you're this. But listen to what it says. How are we in verse 14? And they say, some say that you are John the Baptist, some Elijah, other Jeremiah, or you're just one of the prophets. Think about that. They're not really thinking about who he is. Just like the children of God today. They really don't know who he is. Well, they'll say he's this and he's that. But when you got a relationship with somebody on, and you know who the rock is in your life, you'll know, glory to God, who he is, yeah. what he is, and you won't have to bring question about who he is. You'll know who he is. Yeah. 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 And Jesus answered and said unto them, Blessed. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but my Father who is in heaven. We're going to do a quick study right now, just, just, just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, okay. Put your head on, I don't know whether it's from God or not. Put you to listen to me just a second. Okay. What is it in verse 7? And Jesus answered and said, Blessed are our son of our Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Uh -huh. All spiritual knowledge comes from God. Amen. It don't come from yourself, but I think it needs to be this, and I think it needs to be that. Listen to me. When it rounds up with the Word of God, it comes from God. But when it's just a thought, that ain't from God a lot of times. You've got to determine what's his and what ain't his. Yeah. Don't shut me down today. Come on, Come on. But look at verse 18. Uh -huh. And I say unto you that thou art Peter. Stop right there. Come on. He changed his name. <laughs> yes, he did. He changed his name. Because uh -huh. listen to me. Peter means in the Greek, Pestro. I believe I'm saying that right. It means a fragment of a rock. A fragment of a rock. Come on, man. Think about something. When you've been born again Come on by the blood of the Lamb, because of something this morning is the rock in the church. 
church. Yes. When you've been born again come on, come on. by the blood of the Lamb, yes. Jesus gives you a fraction of that yes. rock. Yes. You get a little dose of the Holy come Ghost. On, come on. You get a little piece of what that rock yes. is all about. Yes. And listen to me. Yes. He gives you a little bit of the rock, but can I tell you, you can get a whole bunch of that yes. rock. I don't want to be just a fragment of the Come rock. On. Yes. Come I don't want just a little bit of the rock. Come on. I don't know about you, but I've been more hungry now for yes. more of the rock yes. than I've ever been in yes. my life. Yes. I've got a more desire yes. in my life to get more of what God has yes. for me. Yes. Lord, I'm not concerned about what the things in the world are. Lord, I want more of you. Yes. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Come on. I want to talk to you just a moment Come on, man. about the rock. Come on, talk about that rock. Come on. Because listen to me. <laughs> and I say to you that thou art Peter. Come on, man. And I palm this rock. Let's talk about that rock right there. That's an immovable mass. Come on. Come on, yes, good. Yeah. Go back to the Old Testament. One of the great men, the Lord told him to speak to the rock. Come on, yes. Come on. Can I ask you something this morning? The rock that you say you're serving. Is it an immovable rock in your life? Yes. <laughs> or when the wind comes, the rock blows away. You have to go back and find yes. that immovable rock Come that's on. supposed to be inside yes. of you. Yes. Because when that rock is inside of Come you, on. I ain't worried about it blowing away. Yes. I'm worried about it. Can I get more of that yes. rock? Yes. Can I get more yes. of what God wants me to yes. have in yes. my life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you are. I want more. I want more. That immovable rock. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because upon that immovable rock, Christ Himself gave us the only foundation of what the true church is all about. Come on. The church was built upon the rock. Come on. The immovable rock. Come on. It wasn't built on a denomination. And the denominations are not going to get you into heaven. However, being built upon the rock of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He'll get you to the rock that you need to be at. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. You look at that passage of scripture. And it says, and I will build. I just I want to stop right there. Uh -huh. The word build there means to edify. Okay. How many times a day do you edify the rock? Ooh, that's good. That's good. How many times do you give praise and honor and glory? To edify the one that died on the cross. How many times a day do you lift up the name of Jesus? How many times a day do you give praise and honor to the rock, Jesus Christ? How many times a day or do you have, are you the type of person that I have to wait for something happens in my life? Then I call upon the rock. Let me tell you something. That ain't how it works. You need to worship it whether you feel like it or whether you don't. His church. Amen. There's only one church. The body of Christ made up of all born again believers. Amen. All born again believers. Now that was just a little bit. Now I'm going to lay the foundation of how to build the church. I'm going to Lay the foundation of 
one, two, three, four, five things that we need to do okay. to lay the foundation of the church. Number one, uh-huh. Christ built the church yes. on loving each other. Amen. Loving each other. Each other. Amen. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter what race you are. It don't matter what gender you are, male or female. All that matters is you know how to love one another. Amen. Because if you can't love one another, how are you going to get to heaven and love him? Amen. Let me tell you something. They done things to him. They mocked him. Oh, they made no. him. They pulled his beard out. They beat him. They, yes. they did all kinds of, of things against him, but he still loved them. Because yes. when he was hanging on the cross and in the heavens and the earth, yes. he said, Father, forgive yes. them. We gotta have We gotta be able to love somebody when God blesses them. Yes, come on, say that. What did you do to deserve that? Come on, say that. Instead of saying, oh God, thank you for blessing my brother. Yes, say that. I love you so much. Thank you for blessing me. Come on. You gotta love. Yes. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because if you ain't got that condition of love yes. inside of you, hallelujah. hallelujah, glory to God, how are you going to build the church? Come on, come on. I remember several people, when they first come through the doors here, mm-hmm. they said, I felt the love. Yes. Mm-hmm. I felt the love. Mm-hmm. Church, we can't lose. Mm-hmm. That love. Come on, amen. Amen. Well, why are you saying that? Because sometimes I've seen it happen when the church is growing and God's a moving and the love is there to begin with. Yeah. But after the church starts growing, they start clicks start coming in the church. Come on, come on. The vision starts coming in the church. Uh-huh. Well, now this one's doing this and that yeah. one's doing that. Come on. I can't love this one and I can't love that. Come so on. Don't let the enemy come in yeah. and steal the love of God out of your heart. Learn to have the love. Yeah. You don't know who God's going to send through the door. You got to have that love that yeah. inside of you. Yeah. No matter what you're facing, God, I need to be able to love yeah. man. Number two, Number two. Okay. and let me tell you something. God's really instilling in this me here, here lately. <coughs> Number two, you gotta have the love for the sinner. Amen. Amen. You gotta have the love for the sinner. Come on. That you have so much love that you'll see when you see me saying, "Oh God, please, I don't want to see them die and spread hell wide open." Lord, give me that love that I can yeah. turn them and I know right now they don't see you. Right now I know, glory to God, that they don't think much of you, but Lord, I don't want to see them die and go to hell. Lord, send somebody in their life that they love, that knows the truth and the tell them that God loves them. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Yes, Lord. Girl, listen to me. If you can't love the sinner, then you need to get back to an old-fashioned order and get your heart right with God. Come on, say that. Yes. All, we all got skeletons. We all got past. We all that. got things that we ain't proud of what we yes. did. But God loved us as yes. a sinner. God had somebody praying yes. for us as a sinner. Yes. Hallelujah. Now it's time that we start praying yes. for those that are lost. Yes. Those that are headed to hell. We need to have that love inside of us that no matter who they are. Or what they do, Lord God, I don't want to see them die and go to hell. We need to have that love. Yes. Because upon the rock, I build my church. Come on. Number three. Okay. We got to have the love for the poor just as much as we have the love for the rich. Amen. Because it ain't about how much money you got in your pocket. Come on. It ain't about how big of a house you live in. Come on. Come on. It ain't about how big of a car you drive. Come on. 
But glory to God, it's what you've got the love of God down yes. inside of you. Come on, yes. So let me share something with you. Jesus sat down and ate with the poor. Yes. He ate with the sinner. Yes. Hallelujah, glory to God. Can we sit down and eat with the poor and eat with the sinner? Yes. Or we think we're too good. Well, when the pride comes in, destruction happens. Yes, when the enemy comes in, you're going to get in trouble with God. Yes. But you've got to love to be able to love them no matter who they are, no matter what they drive, no matter yes. what they look like. No. You've got to have the love of God inside yes. of you. And God will move for you. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. And I tell you this, you was in that situation one time yourself. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We all said, it's me, Lord. It's me, Lord. It's me, Lord. Yes, it's me, Lord. 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 Lord, it's me. It's me. Lord, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. What's wrong today is we don't want to live in a repentful life because we Come don't on, think we need say to that. Let me share something with you. I got a repent day. Yes. Yes. Preacher, you're a pre listen to me. I, I don't want nothing standing between me and God. I don't want anything standing there. I want to be able to glory to God. That when somebody asks me to pray, I don't need 30 minutes to get my heart back to God. I want to pray down. When the love, when you lose the love, or I the love of God, mm -hmm. Satan will start to come in into your life. Come on. Oh, yeah. When you lose the love of God for your brother or your sister, uh -huh. then the enemy is creeping in into your house. Yeah. And he don't need no big man. Oh. I remember I, I work. I used to work years ago. We got bought out from where I worked at today, but I used to work for an ATM company. I remember the first time they sent me down to Georgia to train. And, they, and I went with the managers to, to a military base down in Georgia. <coughs> it was going to, he's going to show me what an ATM, what all it does. Mm -hmm. And we opened that ATM up, and a mouse had got into it. Oh, uh, and history. shredded. Oh no! The money. Oh, uh -oh. Money. oh wow! I'm talking about the cassette was full of shred paper. Oh wow! And when they closed it back, they said, "Look, this is sealed." But they were still able to get inside. Wow! To tear it up. Yeah. You may think that you're sealed. Come on, man. But the enemy has a way to get inside of you. To get inside of you to start messing you up on the inside. Come on, Oh, listen to me. That's why you got to guard what God gave you. Yes, That's what I tell a lot of the young preachers that come up preaching. What can you tell me? Guard the anointing that God has on your yes, life. Because the enemy wants to come in and suck you dry. Oh. He wants to come in and take the anointing away from you. That's why you need to guard it. Hallelujah, glory to God. But let me tell you something. Hallelujah, glory to God. He just needs a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. How many times in here in the last month have you heard from that if you've got an all against your brother and sister, you need to go to them and yes. pray? Yes. Why is that so important? Because I don't need the enemy to come in and take this side come of the on. church come on. and start talking about this and talking about that. And then the other side of this starts happening the next one. Come on, come what on. you need to do, and I'm learning this, I learned this about that. Six months ago, hallelujah, Sister Molly, the Lord shared it with her and she shared it with me. Listen to me. When you see somebody, don't worry about what they've done, where they've been, hallelujah, and what somebody else has said about them. Come you on. need to go to God and say, God, what can I do to pray for that yeah. person? What can I listen? Quit worrying about what this one thinks about them yeah. and be concerned about yeah. what the Heavenly Father has to say about them. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have the love of God in it. Yeah. Quit worrying about what this one says and say, God, show me what I need to see about that person. Yeah. Hallelujah. Show me, Lord. Yeah. 
Because upon this rock, I'll build my church. Yes. Because if you can't get established on the rock, we ain't going no further. Because if you can't establish yourself upon the rock, the gates of hell is going to destroy you because you ain't where you need to be with God. You ain't where you need to be with God and you're wondering why this is happening to me and why that's happening to me. But you got to be God. you got to determine something. Whether this is an attack from the devil or this is an I want to say this carefully. Whether it's an attack from the devil mm -hmm. or this going through suffering for Christ's sake. Mm, that's good. That's good. You got to determine whether this the enemy attacking you or you saying, oh God, I want to get closer to you. And God said, okay, let's just see how close you want to get. And I'm going through things. I'm going through things. I'm going through things. But I palm this rock. Go listen to me. He ain't talking about this building. When he says, I palm this rock, I'm going to build my church. He's talking about this temple of God right here. I palm this rock here. I'll build my church. He's talking about you. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. He's talking about you and me. Yes. Oh, yes. Call this rock out here in the church. church. Come on. Come on. And the gates of hell shall come not prevail against you. Prevail come on. against you. Come on. And, uh, and a lot of people say, oh, you get, you get in touch with God and God. And if you're uh, going through something, that ain't God. You better read your Bible. Oh, come on. Mm. Come on. That's true. Mm. Because you're going to go through trials. Yes. You're going to go through things in your walk with God. Yes. Because if you don't go into anything, how are you going to learn what to do for God? Yes, say that. Because if you ain't willing to go through it, you ain't going to get much. Come right. on, say that. To know much, yes. much is required. Much that ain't what I said. That's what the word yes, says. Yes, that's the word said. Come on. Listen to me. We got to that. On this rock, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. And he's, what is Jesus saying here? What is what is he saying? Listen to me. What Christ was saying in this is listen. In spite of what Satan is doing to the church against you, the local the lukewarm members, the, the devil, you're a liar. The false teachers, the false preachers. Listen to me. The church will not be destroyed. Amen. Christ has always has his remnant of believers who's going to remain yes. faithful no matter what's yes. going on. Yes. What is facing. Yes. God's always got those that's going to press through. Yes. Those that are going to keep on moving yes. on. Come those that no matter what they're doing, yes. God's still going to move for them. Yes. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Absolutely. I got one more thing I want to cover. I'm trying. Go on down to verse 19. And I will give unto you the keys Come on. of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. And whatsoever that shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Let me tell you something. I'm going to talk about the keys just a minute. Okay. The keys represents God's power and authority. But listen, there's a but there. Not just for the disciples, but for everybody. Amen. And what is it? Glad you asked. Okay. <laughs> Number one, he gave you the power and the authority to rebuke sin. Come on. He gave you that to power. <coughs> we just don't apply it anymore. Mm -hmm. Number two, prayer effectively for God moves 
things on this earth. Okay. Prayer moves things. Prayer changes things. Amen. Prayer will change situations yes, for will. you. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Gives us the power and authority to bind the demonic forces uh -huh. and loose those that are captive to be free. Yeah. Oh, but let me tell you what I'm finding and I'm seeing that. Me and Sister Mark, that people don't want to be set free because they're happy being yeah. bound down and Come they're on. happy. Yeah. Have the, they love the role in the money grub. Yeah. They love to just feel sorry for me. They don't want to be set free. No. Listen, Jesus came and set the happy free. free. And if you don't want it, don't go. Well, preacher, will you pray that the Lord sets me free? Hey, listen, we've been praying for a long time. you got to let it go. Yeah. 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 You want to hang on to it yes. because the devil's got you blinded thinking that I can, if I let go of it, what am I going to do? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on to your own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Trust in him. Listen to this one now. He gives you the authority. Yes. Here's another one people don't like to do. Uh -huh. Announce the gift of sin and announce God's standard of righteousness in your life. Mm -hmm. Woo. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> I'm not sinning. I'm just yeah. that one. You're being deceived. Yeah. Yeah. You're being deceived. Come on. Because listen to me. It ain't what you think that matters. It's what he thinks that matters. Come on, say that. Don't <coughs> down now. Come on. Because listen to me. Proclaim salvation and the forgiveness of sin and repent and believe in Christ Jesus. Amen. Proclaim salvation and the forgiveness of sin for all who repent and believe in Christ. Why do I leave that to last? Because upon this rock I'll build my church. Come on. And if you're not founded on that last thing I just said, then you can go back and start all over again. Amen. Because upon this rock, I'll build a church. Amen. New fellowship. I'm going to call new fellowship. We're going to build it on Jesus. Amen. Now, the Lord's going to show me not everybody's going to come and not everybody's going to stay come on. because they can't stand the heat. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I know they have to go through the heat down come here on, on this yeah. earth and come stay hell wide open when the time comes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why? Because listen to me. Hallelujah. It ain't it, 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 going to be easy. There's nowhere in the Bible that says when you get saved, they're going to walk around here with roses and everything's going to be happy. No, he said you're going to go through trials. You're going to yes. go through tribulation. Yes. You're going to go through things that be a good cheer. I'm going to come it off. Listen to me. What your problem is, if you found it on the rock, hallelujah, you won't worry about what you're going through because God's got something for you on the other side. You've got to be willing to go and say, God, I'm standing upon the rock. Upon this rock, we're going to build your church. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. It ain't just me or anybody in uh, here. Uh, it's here. Don't look at me to build your temple. Come on. Don't look at me. Come on. To stand upon the rock. Come on. Because this is a personal thing. Yes. Upon this rock, I'll build my church. Come on. Because listen to me. 
Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. There's been many times I've started to rock. Come on. And I've got knocked down and I've had to go back and start yeah. all over again. Come on. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking that I'm big and doing so good. And Come God on. comes in and says, listen to me. Get your pride out of the way. Yes. Get me knocked back down. Then I pick myself right yes. back. What the problem is is you don't like getting on the potter's wheel. Come on. And let him throw you yeah. up and down. Come on. Let that Holy Ghost water on you. Yes. He starts making you what he wants yes. you to be. You're satisfied with where you're at. Come God on. says, I'm going to make you yes. what I want you to be. Not what I, somebody yes. else wants you to be, but yes. God. What God wants, wants you to be. be. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Ooh, I Stand. declare, Lord God. Ooh. You are the part of Lord God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hold this rock. Hold this rock. I'll build my church. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hold it up, Lord. And the gates of hell. Taste of hell. I want to tell you this. Pray. I promise you. There'll be some of you before you get home. The devil's going to start talking to you and telling you, don't listen to that old man. Oh, you better listen. Don't listen to what he's saying. Because when he said the gates of hell put up a veil, that's not true. I told they'll do this to you and I'll do that to you. But how long? Come on. In the middle of the valley. Come on. In the middle of the crowd. Come on. In the middle of the storm. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. There's going to be a little break coming Come through and you're yes. going to get to see yes. that. Oh, Come I on. see the lights just yes. a little bit more. Yes. I see right in the middle of the storm. I yes. see a breakthrough coming. Yes. I just got to hold on because yes. I don't fold my rock. Come on. Oh, the gates of hell. I see a way yes. I see yes. God moving yes. in a way of my life I've yes. never yes. seen it because I'm trusting in the yes. Lord with all my heart. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord. Let's pray. Yes, Lord God. Oh, shout out to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Ooh, Lord. Father God, I thank you for this word. Thank you for the word, Lord God. God, I thank you for your blessings. God, I ask you, Lord, to anoint him. This word as it goes out yes, today. Lord God. Not only in here, but out there, God. Yes, Lord. Father God, the power and the anointing will go out and yes, touch your hearts yes, Lord and the minds of the people. God, I thank yes, you. Thank you, Lord. For what I felt. Yes, Lord. God, I thank you for ministry. Yes, Lord. In this house today, God. Yes, Lord, God. Lord, I pray for those watching out there across the area. God, that they would wake up. Yes, Lord. They would seek you. Yes, seek you. Oh, God, and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, Lord, God. Get them back in the house of God yes, somewhere. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, it's in Jesus' name in we Jesus pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Don't forget tonight. Got another word from God for tonight. You need to listen. Amen. May God bless you. God bless you. Yeah.